Hello people YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm actually going to keep it quite quick. Um, basically this video is is my pre-shot routine and setup. Now first off, um, I've actually got a video, probably, I need to remember to put it in the link at the end. Um, but it's my, the way I grip my, my controller is different to a lot of people. And I feel that it's maybe a bit unorthodox, it's maybe a bit different from everybody else. Um, but I hold the controller, what I call a cradle technique. So at the end of this video, there'll, there'll be a video linking to that. Uh, so if you check that out, you'll actually see how I, I, I grip it. And I think it's, for me, I think it's the, the most accurate way to swing the analog stick. Um, it's very, very accurate. So th this is going to be my pre-shot routine. Um, T-shot, obviously this is a, a, a par 4, so first thing I need to factor in is the wind, so it's 5 miles per hour and it, I do play slightly different, I play on the, the tour settings, or the tour clubs. So my train of thought here is I need to hit a draw off this tee, I don't need to hit it, I could hit a fade if I wanted, or I could uh, hit it straight, but I factor the, the straight shot out of the equation because I'm not going to hit the straight shot all the time. But what I can do is I can hit the the, the, the draw shot. So I'm going to aim towards this left hand side. In fact, I'm actually not. I'm, I'm going to aim it practically just maybe even just up here, maybe just to the, the just off center or to the center. But I'm actually going to do some practice swings. Now what I'm looking for here is the, the left side of the cone, which I get. And that's my natural shot. That's a shot I can hit 9 times out of 10. So there we go. Now we get a fast down swing, but that's going to be okay because we were set up with a drop, but we do find the rough. So... Whoops. Okay, I actually so got the, the, the proper swing um, in terms of uh, accuracy. I got the, the draw swing that I was looking for, but I caught it fast. So that has been creeping into my game, which is quite... I say it's, I say it's quite annoying. Um, so we're in the light rough, so this maybe changes the, the kind of thought process. But basically... I'll go through my shot routine that I do every single shot. First off, I'll look at the, the yardage. So it's 134 yards to the pin, and it's three foot up. Now, I'll give you my calculations. Now, this is not set in stone, but it's pretty much accurate to a certain extent. Um, for every th three foot of uh, elevation change, you basically turn that into one yard of either a gain or... A deficit so in this case it's three foot up so basically we, we add one yard to that that tally and that gives us 135 yards the next calculation I do is the wind now the wind some people calculate it slightly different I kind of stick with for every mile per hour you add a yard so five miles per hour but that's not right into your face if that was right right into my uh, into my face, I would add five yards to that. But it's not, it's across, so you kinda you kinda roughly half that. So you'd maybe add two miles per hour onto that shot. So that would give you one three seven. So that's me calculated the 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 carry yards to, to the hole. So one hundred and thirty seven yards. Uh if I was on the fairway, this would be a lot more simpler, but we're in the rough. So what, what I've got to do now is kind of run and see the, how the winds change. So that calculation might actually change. It might be down to like one mile per hour we need to add. So instead of being 137, it's maybe 136 now, potentially. Um, then I look at the, the light. So... For me, the next one I check is the the down slope or up slope, and that's the the the, the line heading towards the green. So you can see there that it's it's down after the ball, 
bit at the ball, it's actually pretty flat. So I don't need to add yardage. If this was again if, if this was in the fairway, then I wouldn't have to add yards to it. I'll probably explain that maybe the next hole. Um, the next important one is the up slope, down slope in, in re relation to my body. So is it above my feet or below my feet? So the ball is above my feet. Basically what that means is it's you have to aim to the right. Because the ball's going to come off at that angle and it's it's kind of, if you like, it's, it's going to be a different launch angle to the pin. So I probably need to aim this. Oh, I've just done a short modification there. I'm probably going to have to aim this, I would say, I would say about a bit here. So now that I'm in the white rust, I actually need to add extra yardage onto this. In this case, I would actually prefer to go up a club. But I'm just going to hit that. I think that will be just about right. So again, and then I, I pick my shot. I focus on, you know, the angle I need to be. And then just hit the shot. And there we go. Good tempo. I get my, my draw swing. And that was right on line. A bit short. But it rolls up. So that that's a, that's a decent shot. That's in there. Pretty close. We've got a good chance of bumping. All right, 12 footer here. Um, now putting is, the way I do putting <coughs> maybe differs from, from a lot of people, um, but what I usually do is I look at what I've got to the hole, now I've got 12 foot, 3 inches up, so that basically again 3 inches I add a foot onto my, my, my putt, so 3 inches up is basically to me is 15 foot. So I kind of need to hit this putt distance-wise, 15 foot. Now the other factor that I pull in here is that that number just below the ball, it says green 100%. Now just below the ball, it says 163 foot. Now that is, that's an indication of the green speed. 187 foot is the fastest green speed you can get in the game. 101 foot is the slowest speed you get in the game. So basically, 163 is fast. I wouldn't say it's super fast, that's 187, but 163 foot is fast. So you really do need to kind of gauge the distance to hit this ball. Now, there's a lot of ways to do it. And what I tend to use is, like close in, like maybe hitting the ball with 5 foot, 10 foot, There'll be a position that, that you're going to do that. Now, if you if you notice that the way he's standing, his back foot there, i.e. His, his right foot, if, if I put to that, if I put there, that's... Now, that can vary the, the distance, but that back foot is probably one of your best uh, sort of points of kind of interest because... Say if I put that and I put it a certain distance, I can roughly work out what maybe say like the standard sort of twenty five foot putt's gonna be. For this putt, I really don't need to hit this that far. It's it is uphill, but it's a fifteen. So I'll maybe go to about here. So let's get the slope. Slope is something that, to be honest, working it out that this is not a big slope. I would probably say this is maybe just outside left edge. I've got my power set and there we go. We just make that putt, we just grab the edge. Uh, but I set my, my, my power that I need to hit. But the, the, the right foot mark in your putt will become important because if, say, say I, I, I just hit a putt, right, and I use my back foot and it was a, a, a certain size of putt, and say maybe I just missed it, say I was maybe like three foot short, and it was like a, a, a 25 foot putt, then I probably know that if I hit to my back foot, that's going to give me 28 to 30 foot. So that, that's not, that really is a key thing, because that means I'm dialed in on that green, and 
say I've got a 30 foot putt, then I know that I can be probably quite accurate to hit that putt. The but then that can change. Sometimes downhill putts, you really need to maybe you know, back it up just a little bit more than normal. You wouldn't hit, if it was say 20 foot down and 5 inches down, that's a 15 foot putt. I probably wouldn't hit it the full 15. I would maybe just back off just a touch. So here we go. Next tee shot. Again, the wind, similar to the, the first hole. It's a kind of, it sets up for my draw. Now, I do hit a draw and I do hit a fade. That's quite a difficult ability to do. And there's not a lot of people can actually do that in, in the game. Um, but that's how I set up. So it's quite a narrow fairway. I'm actually going to aim a little bit out here. So let's go. Let's try and hit this draw. And let's try and hit a good tempo. Perfect, perfect. Right on the edge of that cone. That is a, good so far. basically the shot we wanted to hit. And there you go. Land right in the middle of the fairway. So that draw spin just came back over. It held and itself it against like that we wind and we get a, a quite a nice shot so here again this i'm going to demonstrate my my pre-shot routine this is this is probably actually a good example here we've got 100 yards four foot down this time so it's basically 100 yards you could all almost say that it's 100 it's 99.4 yards or something but it's Basically 100 yards, the wind's in her face, and it's really direct way in her face. Six it was there, but it's now been up to seven. So because that's in her face, we need to add yards onto this uh, tally. So we've got 100. 107 with that wind. Now, there's a couple ways we can actually play this. We could club up and loft, or we could deal off this club. Probably the best way to do this is to deal off this club. So 107 is, is what I've got in my head. Um, I'll probably actually do the rest of my pre-shot routine. Why is pretty good in terms of it's a very, very slight upslope. Um, I'll explain the upslope and downslope. People, if you play golf, you probably know what I'm talking about. But if you... I know this is going to sound kind of funny, but if you hold your, your left hand out, right, palm up, absolutely flat, and you make, take your, your right hand and make like an angle, like say if it was a sand wedge, it would be like maybe, sand wedge is what, what 50, 50 degrees or something? So if you take your hand and make a 50 degree angle and put it on top of your, 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 your left hand, you'll see there that you've got like a proper angled Y, right? If you tilt your hand uh, to the left or rotate it anti-clockwise and keep your hand in the exact same position of a, a sand wedge, you'll see that it de-offs it. And again, if you twist it clockwise, you'll see that it puts loft on. So basically what I'm trying to explain is if you've got a downhill Y, it's going to de-off that club. Um, if you've got an uphill Y, it's going to put loft on it, and it's 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 kind of simple maths uh, uh, in a way. It, it kind of some people might kind of say, well, how really does that affect your 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 distance? But really, it does in this game. Um, so downhill Y will do loft, uphill Y will loft the club. So we don't really have that. We've got probably quite a good. That's a very, very slight uphill wire. You've got, you've got a bit. Ball slightly above our feet, but again, it's not like huge. So we've got 100 yards. We've now got, I would probably actually say, 5. So we've got 105 that we need to hit this ball. So I do tend to hit a draw shot. So what I would do is accommodate for the Y, which is maybe there. And then I'm going to accommodate for my draw swing, which is probably a bit there. Now that's went down to four. Now what I'm, all I'm going to do, short modification, I'm going to put an absolute tiny, tiny amount of deal off in this. 
and that's all I'm going to do. It's absolutely tiny. So again, I've calculated everything in, I've dialed in my, my Y, my wind, so I'm good to go. So let's try and hit this with a drop. And there we go, we get the draw swing, good tempo, it should draw back. This one's looking good. So it's just carried over a little bit. Maybe maybe we should have went a little bit further to the to the right. But again, we're in a, a, a good zone, you know, we're at eleven foot from the cup. Got a really good chance of a birthday again. This putt, so let's analyse the putt again. I look at the, the elevation up. 11 foot to the pin, but perfectly flat, although I would say it's ever so slightly uphill. Um, again, I've already established the, the green speed. So, by this hole, I've maybe got a slight feel for the green. Um, not a lot of break. Probably that is maybe about the same as before, just on the the left edge. I zoom in because I quite like this view, and I've got a one foot putt, so I that's probably about there. And there we go. We get that in. So that was actually quite an easy green. So let's do the next hole. Again, yeah, tee shot routines are quite important. Uh, tee shot is not as hard because you've obviously got a level Y. One top tip, if you ever play uh, a course that's been made up by a player, i.e. somebody's just made a course up, it's always good to check your, your Y because sometimes tee boxes are not flat in the game. If somebody doesn't level off a tee box, you could actually be playing from a, a, a bad Y. So I check the tee box, tee boxes, I don't always do that. Sometimes if I'm playing a, an official course, I know it's going to be flat. So the wind's actually behind here, so we can actually probably aim... Again, you can check the, the elevation change, that's 10 foot down, so you're, you're probably going to fly the ball a couple of yards further. Um, but I'll probably like this. This shot here. I probably could actually hit a fade here, but I'm going to hit a draw. Well, we actually do hit a fade. So that is going to find that bunker. If I got the draw swing, that probably would have been perfect. So that's a, a, that's a slight uh, shot problem I had there. Bunkers, do what you can. Yards. Hopefully, you can get some distance onto this. Right, we'll just flash this out. I'm not going to entertain hitting that long. Oh, I should maybe have checked to see. If, I should have checked to see if that was actually uh, heading to the fairway. Pretty deep, rough here. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just chip out. I don't want to hit from the rough. Well, in saying that, I suppose hitting from the rough is, I think, is quite tricky in this game. Uh, heavy rough up there, 65 to 76 percent shot so that means that I'm, I'm not going to get a queen shot I'm not going to hit this 179 yards um, I'm kind of learning now to basically hit out because I'm, I'm never going to hit this shot perfect and I'm never going to get the carry that I need to get so you're actually better off just taking like a wedge and just hitting it up the fairway Getting the better shot, getting the better swing out, and actually putting it back in, in, into play. Um, and that's the best thing. I actually made some mistakes um, yesterday at Crooked Stick. I actually took a shot on, and I shouldn't. I just shouldn't have taken it. It was, it was just way risky. So here we go. Pre-shot routine again. Eighty-five yards flat. Wind's coming across. So I really don't need to add anything to it. I probably say I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm not I'm not gonna touch it. So for this shot I'm actually gonna play it. I'm just gonna aim slightly to the flat. I could probably actually aim straight. I'm actually gonna hit this with a, a touch of fade. So 
so there we go. We've actually had quite an extreme fade shot. Shouldn't be too bad. Again, just a bit extreme there. We went a couple of years, a couple, just a bit over. A bit too much fade. Oh, these greens are quite easy. Again, 12 inches. Uh, 2 inches down, sorry, 12 foot. So that's probably like, kind of like a 10 foot pace putt. Again, this is not much. It's going to break back just a touch. Set, set the, the shot that I need. Ooh, no, I just missed that. Didn't miss by much. Just grabbed the All edge. Right, nice little two foot putt. And we'll get the see how the numbers add up. Okay, now uh, with that, you're gonna stay at even. Power. So that was a double bogey, so, but we ended uh, up in the bunker. Then we shot out. Then I just wanted to get it back into play. I could have went for that shot, um, but I just find sometimes it's just it depends if, if there's a hazard okay, in front of you, like water, or it could be risky, but. Yeah, so what have we got? 211, 13 foot, so that's playing roughly four, four yards minus on that, so that's going to be 207. Wind's in a face, so that brings that back up to 212. So 212 yards is the shot I've got. Now because this is a longer club, it, it means that it's going to be a different approach. Um, so, my four hybrid goes 210 yards, that's carry distance, so that's going to be too long. I could actually put some loft on that or try and get it higher, but the 192 is probably good, but that's carry again. Now, every club's different and it rolls out at a different sort of distance. Uh, and I don't really have like numbers for it. I used to have numbers for for TGC one, but I play now. We, I'm quite a kind of field player, meaning that I kind of guess so 192 is going to be short. 210 is going to be probably too much. Now the wind's patch have picked up, so it's went from 212 probably out to two two thirteen now. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to experiment here. I would probably actually, I could actually hit that hybrid. Um, I'm going to hit this 5 iron and I'm going to deal off that. I don't need to deal off a huge amount. I'm going to deal off there, just down so two notches. Again, I'm going to set up from, from my, my draw swing here. Bit of a glitch there. So we actually get a fade swing again, so that's maybe not. Wow, that is that is well short. I must not. No, I didn't see what. I must have hit that 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 uh, short on the back swing or the down swing. Because that's quite a distance away now. This type of shot really. This is a part of the game that it, it's hard to explain. I don't know whether I want to hit that. Because we're coming out of the rough, it's 26 yards, 80%. I may actually just hit this. I'm probably going to hit this quite full as well. So we get the bounce there. Pretty decent shot there, to be honest. You've got to factor in the percentage of the Y as well. Right, put here. Pretty straightforward. Way to drop that putt. Right, so I'm probably going to play one more hole. You will stay at even par. Okay, let's pop this into the fairway. I won't be doing this in the, in the green. I'm going to do something a little bit different, just to show. Just to show you what I'm talking about in terms of where you hit your putts. Right, there's the draw swing. That's that's what we wanted at the, the last hole. So that should be a good drive. Again, I've, I've just aimed into the wind a little and it's going to hold that ball up. 
Very nice. So this is a so part four. Quite a warm approach. Yards to go still. Again, I'm going to do my, my basic calculations here. 167. Wind is slightly in our face. Is it 6? Maybe a 5. Uh, so that's going to be 172. Slight uphill wide. Maybe not too bad. That side hill wide. I'm going to force the ball over, but I'm actually going to draw into the wind, so I'm just going to aim a bit there, I think. 168, we're going to carry this, so that's actually not bad. I'm going to deal with that just a couple of notches. And then hit this draw shot. So there we go, good tempo. It's holding that ball good. up. And that's in there. Probably, what, 11 foot, maybe? Okay, on the green for the bird. Nine foot. So I'll, I'll probably get another body there. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to aim away from the hole and I'm actually going to play this from my back foot. Now, the green speeds are quite fast and it's actually quite a level. But in fact, it's, it's perfectly level. Well, not maybe perfect, but it's, it's near enough level. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to play this there just. Just where my back foot is. So you can see there, 20 foot, 21 foot. Now, <clears throat> on All slower right, greens, that, that putt distance from the back foot is going to change. So I could probably actually write that, that distance down. 20 foot and 163 foot green. On the fastest green speed, like 187 foot, I would probably say that that putt is going to go further. So I think that putt from the back foot might go 25, 26 foot, perhaps. But basically, that that's 20 foot putt. That's a 20 foot putt. That's 20 foot putt. And I think it's quite a good way to gauge a distance. If you know that you can put that putter back and swing through it, it's going to give you 20 foot on flat. So if you need to hit a 20 foot putt, you know exactly where you need to be. So this is actually 12 minus 1, it's 11 foot putt, slightly breaking from the, the left. Probably just going to go left edge there, and it's 12, so I don't need to hit 20, I need to hit 10, which is there. It's not that far. And we've actually missed the, the break. I actually broke a lot more than, than, than what I thought. <clears throat> so there you go. You can't actually hit them all. All right, let's take a look at the old but scorecard here. Putting can be really quite tricky, One but if you can the gauge the distance to your to your 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 right foot, and your right foot kind of points out a little bit. So if I put to that foot, I know that that's that's going to go just over tw twenty foot. So. And all that is is just a gauge. It's like it's like hitting to a point, and you know that twenty foot. So if you've got a twenty five foot putt on these greens, you would then know that you need to go just outside your, your foot. If you've got a thirty foot putt, you need to go a little bit more. Thirty five, a little bit more, and it's just a way of kind of feeling out where you need to be for a certain distance of putt. Okay, let's put this so guys, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you found it so interesting. I hope you, you pick up points. Um, there's a guy on my uh, society. Uh, his name is, I think it's Arthur Jimbo, uh, Sport and Primal. He's he's really starting to play the game. I don't know if he's played it before, but he, he's, he's scoring maybe not the best, but I just... If he watches this video, I hope he picks up pointers and maybe starts to learn that, you know, with the carry distance, then you need to take the kind of rollout distance from the club off. And that kind of thing, it's hard to explain to somebody, oh, if you've got a five iron, you need to take, you know, ten yards a roll or eight yards a roll. It, it, it's a kind of feel element to the game. And you will get to a point where, you know your carry distance, then you kind of gauge a club down from that and you try and work out 
in there where you need to loft the club up or down slightly to get it to the to the hole. And you will get a feel for it, like nine irons or what a pitching wedge, a sand wedge, gap wedge, lob wedge, pretty much stop on the spot, roughly. They maybe go forward a little bit. But you, you do work out how far you get in terms of roll distance off those clubs. So hopefully Hopefully that's a, a little kind of tutorial video of my pre-shot routine and that, that my pre-shot routine really doesn't change much. Uh, sometimes if I'm playing poor I might miss steps out just because, you know, sometimes I do uh, miscalculate. I'll probably, there might be a wind into my face and I'll maybe calculate it as being a wind behind and I'm short. Sometimes I actually do that. I don't know, that tee shot I hit at the third hole, at the, the par three hole, sorry. That was really short, and I don't know. I'm I'm I actually may have calculated that as a headwind or a tailwind, and I've miscalculated. I, I really don't know. Um, or either that, or I heard it so. I'd have to actually watch it back. But uh, I mean, I'm not perfect, and I, I probably actually do make mistakes if I'm honest. So, but anyway, guys, it's a thirty-minute video. I don't want to keep it kind of sort of quick, but I actually want to explain. Uh, some of the, the, the yardages, the, the 3 foot for elevation equals a yard plus or minus onto your shot and the wind, I, I roughly do it like 1 mile per hour equals a yard. Some people do that, that wind calculation at 0 0.7 so like for 3 miles per hour it would be like maybe something like, I don't know, what would that be, 2? 2. 2.2 2 or something? Um, but. That's the kind of stuff that, that I do, but the pre-shot routine I think is quite important because it, the game is a lot like golf. You really do need to sort of do the steps, get to your shot and then focus on your shot and, and, and play it. But hopefully that helps a lot of people out and I hope you find it interesting. But anyway guys, um, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, uh, it's greatly appreciated and I'm, I'm actually getting more subscribers. Uh, I want to get to the 100, that, that's my kind of next goal. So, well guys, enjoy the rest of your day, uh, take care, be safe, and just enjoy life, basically. So, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.